Hello, I'm Bill Day. I'm a political cartoonist. Three years ago, I was laid off from my staff job at a newspaper, something becoming too frequent these days. A month ago, Daryl Cagle at CagleCartoons.com began a crowdfunding campaign on my behalf called Fund a Cartoonist for a Year. His idea is to see if people like you believe enough in the power of cartooning to keep from disappearing in America as its watchdog of liberty. This has never been tried before, and you and I are going to prove that it can be done. Let me get, begin by giving you a brief history on the earliest example of storytelling and political cartoons. All right, that starts in Lascaux, France, the cave drawings of Lascaux, France. Okay, so here we have on the cave walls paintings by a cartoonist. And if you look closely, they're hunting this animal, this beast. Upon close observation, you can see that there's a little speck right here. All right, what's that all about? So I blew this up, and having blew that up, I got this, all right, which shows this character a little bit closer, and something right there. Oh, well, what is that all about? So I blew it even more, and so what I have now is this, and you can see there's a cartoonist with a pen in his hand, going to spear a corrupt politician, this animal right here. See? Cartoonists were there at the beginning of time. Okay? We are sort of there. All right. Let me then take you to the word cartoon and where that comes from. The Egyptian word is cartouche, and a box in it is a box set of hieroglyphs signifying the stamp of the pharaoh. And here's an example that I found. It was I Google this and it's easy to find. But you have there is some hieroglyphs, and there is a cartoon, or a cartouche, that Pharaoh used to say. And you look through here and you think, whoa, you got pens and such, but right here there's a little man right there. So what is that? So I had to blow that up too. And having blown that up, this is what I found. Look, there's the cartoonist and there's his inkwell. It's there. So, so we were there when the Egyptians were there. Okay, all right. So that brings us, since we first started with France, you know, in, in the caves. That brings me to a French cartoonist named Henri Damier, one of my very favorites. And he was in prison for six months for a cartoon he did of King Louis Philippe. And this name of this cartoon is called Gargantua. And this is a great cartoon, one of my greatest favorites. And it shows <clears throat> his people, his men, forcing people to pay homage to the big fat king who's just going to live out there in Versailles and, and live up a life. All right. So he got put in jail for six, six months, right? So that's what happens when you cause trouble. You wind up the clinker. That brings us now to America. All right? the, one of the very first cartoons that appeared in America was done by Ben Franklin. And everybody knows this one. This is join or die. The states must get together. Forget about states and be a commendation. And that's what Ben Franklin did. All right, Kate. That also brings us a little more history, brings us to the great cartoonist Thomas Nast, who we call the father of American editorial cartooning. And Thomas Nast was famous because he did cartoons on Boss Tweed in New York City in the corrupt Boss Tweed regime called Tammany Hall. And here we have a picture done by, a cartoon done by Thomas Nast that could easily be Wall Street today. And there it is, Thomas Nast. Here is the elephant and the donkey that Thomas Nest originated. And we have that today too. So we cartoonists have been there since the beginning of time and we're here today, okay? Now what I need to tell you is that as newspapers continue to cut their cartoonists, it comes at a time when cartoons are becoming even more popular. The internet will one day replace the paper copies of newspapers. And by their very nature, the internet is a visual platform. In fact, Politico, the national internet online newspaper, has hired a cartoonist. So, until other newspapers that go online realize the great advantage of having a staff cartoonist, we cartoonists struggle to keep our art alive. Too many wonderful cartoonists have already disappeared, and as a result, you are losing two. So, please join this fundraising campaign started by Daryl Cagle at CagleCartoons.com. He has partnered with Indigo.com to raise $35,000 for me to cartoon for another year. By that time, I hope to have a new job at an online newspaper. But to be successful, we must raise that amount. 
There are rewards that you will receive based upon the dollar amount that you pledge. Five dollars will give you a special thank you in the first ebook. Ten dollar newsletter and a thank you. Twenty five, 2012, a year in cartoons ebook. For fifty dollars, a signed print and ebook. For seventy-five dollars, a signed print and ebook. For two hundred dollars, an original cartoon and ebook. And for four hundred dollars, an original custom cartoon. So, write this down: www.indiegogo.com. Bill Day. Okay, that's the website that you'll contact to make your pledge. This year, this next year, I will be cartooning for you. It will be, I will be your staff cartoonist. Go to www.indiegogo.com Bill Day and make your pledge. And lastly, I want to express my gratitude to Daryl and all of you for making this happen. Thank you so much. I'm Bill Day.